Are you having a tough time trying to figure out how terraforming works? Or maybe you need to know how to actually make things look good. Well, be sure to hang with me through this video because I'm going to show you five beginner terraforming tips that'll really change the way your island looks. And we're getting started right now. So first things first, once you get a three star island, you'll notice that you have the island designer tool that will pop up in your Nook Miles uh, phone. Uh, once you hit the plus button, you'll notice that you have a, a new little menu to where you have your pathways and you can do grass, dirt path, stone path, you get the idea. And then there's also this custom design pathway. And this is something that I'm going to touch on here in just a second, but you do have to purchase every single one of these except for the grass. The grass is there by default. So you're, so you're going to spend about 2000 Nook Miles per pathway and you're going to spend 2000 Nook Miles to unlock the custom design pathway. And then for the cliff construction permit and the waterscaping permit, that's going to be 6000 Nook Mile per uh, permit. There have been some updates made as of recent um, compared to when the game first came out on how you can search for these things so you want to go over here to the internet kiosk you will have to have an online membership to do this so that you can connect to other players and you can find creator codes everywhere online so if you uh if you're just wanting to uh you know find some patterns you can you can find them online everywhere and then you can see all the patterns that this creator has so uh, on this person they have a really cool looking uh, uh dirt pathway so what we would do is we would have to come through here and we would save, and this is kind of the um, the time-consuming part, but we would have to choose, if we have a, enough open spots, we would choose an open spot and save. It's like, hey, do you want to overwrite this open spot? Yes. We come back to the next one. We'd hit save again. We choose the next spot. And then we would uh, overwrite that, that new spot. Now, something to keep in mind here. Uh, something kind of crucial. If you're if you're coming in here and you click save on top of say uh, this open road pattern that I've already saved and I and I overwrite that, it's going to eliminate all the open road pathways that I've put down. So do not overwrite one of the other pathways that you've uh, been putting down on your island. Otherwise, it will destroy what you've done. It's not, it's not going to replace what you've done. It's going to actually wipe it out. So just keep that in mind. Just something to remember. But you can also do this new criteria search where you can enter a design name. So if I'm like looking for like road, this is how I find uh, how I found my last road pattern. I'm pretty sure I searched road. And then I want to do um, on ground or floor. And I'm pretty sure this is how I found it. Yeah, so you can see there's like tons. There's... 20 pages of rows that you can find so super cool that they added this because before it was all about going on social media and finding the patterns but now you don't need social media you can just come over here and find what you need okay so now let's talk a little bit about waterfalls and how to make them look better because it's really easy to make a waterfall so you just pull up your waterscaping permit and you literally just find a chunk of the cliff take the chunk of the cliff out and there you have it you have a waterfall but what doesn't look good about this well um, it doesn't have a source of water and so one thing I like to do with my waterfalls is I'll actually build a just kind of a random piece of uh, of a pond or a lake looking type of water source and, uh, and and so and I'll connect it to the waterfall to kind of make it look a little bit more natural so let me uh, let me build this out a little bit. And, and so one of the things that I can I can kind of say while I'm building this out is don't have unnatural looking corners. So for example, you see this corner right here, it's, it's kind of a 90 degree. So what you can do is you can stand on e either side of this corner and you're gonna hit the A button, you're gonna make a corner again and then just stand right still and you can hit it again. It makes it like turn, makes it like a, a kind of a curved corner looks much more natural much more natural so keep that in mind as you're building out your uh, waterfalls because it will look much more natural when you do that chop this little part off make it rounded so yeah I think that looks that looks a little bit better that's a little sharp of a corner right there um, let's go over here and take care of there that's kind of looking a little bit better so you guys can see and I, right here there's not much I can do because I've got it too close to my uh, 
to my ramp, but you guys can see, like, look how much better this looks. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Oh, there's a bunch of weeds. But see, look, look at the, look how much better that looks. It looks so much more natural. And so that's a really good design tip that I wanted to share with you guys that I've found as I've started to do my waterfalls. So, so one of the other tips that I have for your waterscaping is to actually uh, kind of adjust some of your spots of your river uh, to make them a little wider or a little more skinny. So what I can do right here, I've got plenty of space. Um, so I could actually, you know, extend this in and make my river a little bit skinnier. Maybe it's coming up to a point in this particular area. So you just want to kind of make it so that it's completely random and it's customized to your liking. And so I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier. And what this will also allow me to do is if I get it close enough, I'll be able to just jump right over. So that makes it kind of nice if you don't want to spend the extra money on a bridge or maybe you don't have enough money to buy another bridge um, then you can certainly do that but see how I think that looks a little bit better because it just looks a little more custom now here's a couple ideas I have I'm actually working on this right now and what I'm going to do is right here on my island is where red actually uh, enters the um, where his little boat will be it's on this little beach right here and so what, I've, what I'm building out right now is um, a pathway to get there. So I don't want to have to use my ladder every time. I actually want to put a ramp right here where I'm standing. And uh, I'm going to build a little secret entrance to get there. So if I get my, my cliff permit out, what I've done here is I've dug back um, several spots. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe seven or eight spots on the second layer. And then the first layer, you have to leave room for the ramp. So you would just build that out. And I've rounded off each corner so you can see how nice and round they are. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, just build myself a little uh, secret path, I'll call it. All the way... What, what's cool about this is now I have a little secret entrance to get to Red whenever he shows up on my island. I can run back here and I'll and I'll pretty this up a little bit to where I can put some flowers around the cliffs right here. Okay, so let's see how it turned out. Uh, it's been a day and we've let the natural ramp be built. And so here it is, guys. So here's where Red will actually show up and he'll have his little boat right here. And now we have a super easy way to get access to his boat to go buy some fake paintings. But basically what I did here is just carved out, like I said, um, the top layer first. Plenty of room, just made, made myself plenty of room. And then I cut out a little area on the lower level to allow for the ramp. And I mean, it's super easy to do. Oh, and then I also rounded off the corners so that it looked a little bit better. Uh, otherwise, it was like a 90 degree angle. Kind of like these, these right here. I probably need to round these off and make this a lot better. Now, the next thing that I wanted to show is something that I've been working on here recently. And that is my forced perspective area. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right over here, I've got this little uh, kind of station set up. And um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put up here. I'm thinking maybe some more. I may have to move this house actually to, to kind of expand out a little bit. But I'm thinking a couple of uh, street lamps, uh, maybe some other things. But what the, the, you know, the purpose of this uh, forced perspective area is to make it look like uh, the area, like it, it's to make it look like you are really way up high, which you are, you're on the third level. But it looks really cool. It just kind of makes everything smaller looking. It looks like everything's so far away. And it's a really cool scene to have on your island. So, uh, you know, and there's a lot of stuff that I want to put down here. Uh, I was thinking I've started with uh, these two things. Maybe I'll put like a little picnic area down here or something like that. Um, I thought about maybe uh, putting like a, a dotted line road down here to make it look uh, like it's an actual street. Right now, this looks more of like a bike uh, pathway, which is which is totally cool. And so the way that I did this is, uh, again, I started on this this layer here, and I just basically took it way back. I'm talking like 10, 10 to 15 spaces in. Took it back really far. And then I come down here, I came down here on this uh, level and took it back really far. And then I basically just kind of uh, diagonal the... Um, 
the sides to make it look a little bit better. And so that's a really cool idea that you guys can uh, can take and really uh, run with it. There's been some really cool uh, forced perspective ideas that are out there. Now I'm not done, I've got a lot more work to do here, but I'm not going to cover that in this particular video. But uh, maybe one day when I get it completed I'll show you guys.